Hello everyone, this is Steven once again. Uh, it's been about a month or so since I made a video. Um, the reason I haven't made a video in such a long time is because um, two computers of ours went out. Actually, well, actually to tell you the truth, the one I bought Cindy, hey, it's just a PM in the background, and we know who that is. Um, I don't want to rather not say because details is too nasty. But, uh, anyway, to <laughs> make it sound funny. Anyway, I want to get to the point. <clears throat> Our computers went kaplunk. Uh, I guess your flash drive or something like that blew, and then something else blew. Brand new computer, $2,000 computer. But, anyway, um, they got insurance, thank God, on there. But, it was Cindy's computer. I touched it, and then, boof, it went like that. And then her ports, and she lost all her data. She lost her all her heart. Everything was on her hard drive. She didn't have nothing back her. I guess she didn't have a disk or anything like that back her hard drive. But I guess I don't remember if she did or not. I can't recall. Anyway, it's called a little flash drive. I guess you call them flash drives nowadays. And now. I'm on hers again, once again, but the only reason I'm on hers now is because we got hers back fixed. <laughs> this is kind of funny a little bit, but a little bit is not funny. Um, today is Mother's Day. That's not funny, but having a hard day today, but getting through it, as usual. And um, just want, want to give you guys a little bit of an update now, okay? Cindy's health is about the same the worst. Okay. Her ratio, well, her INR is 1.7. Okay. And um, her counting period of time it runs around 21.50, 21.50 seconds. So, it's not too awful shabby. But still, the doctor does not want to put her on anything higher than 8 milligrams per day of Coumadin we're talking about, guys. <clears throat> that's a blood thinner, naturally, everybody knows that. <clears throat> the reason why he don't want to put her on high coumadin, I'll tell you why, okay? He'd rather see her closer to the, okay, anything past five makes a figure of another dash of another number, okay? Math. Like, let's say I put point five. okay? Anything greater than five usually is acceptable to one. Okay, that's basic math. Okay, let's say I put, uh, let's say I get a cup of sugar. Okay, let's, okay, I own nothing to measure around here very well. Or I could do a pill bottle. I could do that. Let me do something real quick. Mathematic experience. Okay, okay, a bottle. Zamas. Okay, example right here. This bottle's half full, guys. Right here. Okay, that that makes about uh, that makes point five. Okay, just top of my head. Okay, point five means not half half a milligram. It can mean a half a milligram. Don't don't tell me you can't. Okay, point five is what's left in this bottle. I'm just doing this fast calculations. Now, if you want to make three quarters, it's right there. Three quarters is right there. Three out of four. Okay. Now, what I mean to tell you, okay, that would have been, three quarters would make what percentage on her ratio? On that, I mean, 1.7 is what it makes. 1.8. Okay, so beyond eight milligrams of Coumadin, with her eating habits the way she is and everything, it tends to change. Okay, and the doctor does not feel comfortable to put her on 10 milligrams of Coumadin. There's no way, because let's say tomorrow. Okay, let's say she gets tested tomorrow, and it comes out bloody hell. It comes out as 4.5 her INR. It's way too high. Then she got to go off her pills for, I don't know, three days. I'm just guessing. Then she got to figure out, the doctor's got to say, well, we'll go back to eight. 
it's a vicious cycle, guys. See, everybody's body is chemically different. Okay, body chemistry, they call it. Okay? Okay. Not too much coumadin, not too much warfarin, same thing. Definitely no shots, only for if she had a clot, which would be a DVT or embolism or embola. Yeah, embolism. Okay, pulmonary embolism, you know, core to the artery, angioplasty, blart block, you know, blah, 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 aneurysms, you know, all the above high blood pressure because of it, you know, prolapse valve, I mean, I can go on and on and on, but anyway, her update was pretty good, you know, her cholesterol, I'll tell you the truth, okay, it was borderline, okay, it runs on the gra her family, I, I don't know if he said her grandpa or anything like that, but, did he say your grandpa, grandpa sign, yeah, grandpa side. Okay, so her and I both have a grandpa issue. Okay. Grandma and grandpa. Tell me about the good old days. That's a good song. That's about what I have to figure out now. Tell me about the good old days. Okay, the good old days about us is we got an inheritance, not money, but we got an inheritance of health from our grandpa and grandmother and daddy her daddy that's her side my daddy I got one too okay he worked on cars he did uh, every freaking thing you can name in a book worked his ass off okay so the only thing I know I don't know a lot of that shit I only know basics I know like I said, I love medical, and that's all I'm good at, mathematics and medical, and a little bit of English. I'm not very good at English, guys, sorry. You see me typo all the time. You see me misspell words all the time. I have to mess check words all the time because I would mess up. Cindy even noticed it, too. So... Anyway, one of our friends, Blake, he wants us to come over uh, pretty soon. He's been wanting us to come over for a long time. His back's pulled out, too. He's a really good friend of ours. Um, bless his heart. He um, used to go to meetings with us all the time. And, as a matter of fact, speaking of the meetings, last night he was at a meeting. I know I'm boring you guys. But he was having a good old time. He wanted to just come out and meet him, I think it was. But uh, my computer was running fine last night, guys. It's running brilliant. I mean, I just don't understand what happened to it. Just like that. You know, wink of an eye. Push the button and don't come on. You know, your port doesn't work. Nothing else is going to work. You know? I just want to make a little bit of a... a you know, a video telling you of an update. Also, one other thing before I close. My Oxycontin has went up. Okay? Yes, it has. Remember how I was at 5 milligrams and then I went to 5 narco, uh, Narcos for a while and then I went to back and forth, back and forth? Okay, and then I went to 7.5 milligrams four times a day, 120, mil 120 pills a day. Okay, now they finally adjusted it right. Okay. The only thing is, is that I got to take both. Okay. Which is kind of hard. I don't know about that. I don't like the idea. I like the idea of taking long. The doctor don't want me to take opiates around the clock. Okay, guys. He wants me to take a long opiate. Like Cindy. Okay. He wants me to take... Okay, hey, listen, I'll tell you the truth. He wants me to take Oxycontin, guys. 40 milligrams. Okay, maybe even 60 milligrams. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take the 40, and then I'm going to see how that works out, guys. And then they want me to take Narco, too. 10 milligrams twice a day, so I got 60 of each. So, I don't know 
if I, I mean, I got a choice. I can keep what I got now, the 120 per month times 10, or whatever, I mean, times some of five, or go the other route. So, but it works better if I take the stronger stuff it, for for me. Okay, now for Xanax, I take stays the same. Nothing changes on that, guys. See. Come, see when I come off of it, I feel terrible. So anyway, I'll go ahead and I'll talk to you guys another time. I want to see if this video comes out. I gotta let you guys go. God bless you all. I'm on Cindy's computer for the record, and I hope this can comes out because I know God knows my other uh, my other one's camera is all jacked. So. I love you all, and uh, God bless you all. I hope to see you soon. So, happy Mom, Mom's Day in heaven. God bless you, Mom, in heaven. I hope to see you soon. Take care, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the blanks now. And uh, take care.